Hello and welcome back to Chicken Police Paint It Red. The last left off, well, we talked to Boobo and we found out about Let There Be Peace Forever, mental institution for the ill and damaged minds. We are waiting for you. Call us from Clawville, 555 966. Clawville State, just follow our Asylum Road, uh, East Bush March 966. Yeah, let's head home. We can uh, adjust our uh, way of going through things. I don't think any of these places will have new information, right? So long, Tim. Yeah, the pleasure. Yeah. So let's head home. We had to gather ourselves, take a deep breath, and think over what we knew so far. What the chickens had I got myself into? <laughs> what did I drag Marty into? Moreover, what had we pulled the whole city into? This was gonna be one of those cases that changed things forever. But I wasn't worried about myself. It didn't matter to me. Too many pieces had been plucked off this old rooster. But Marty's different. He's too good of a bird and too good of a cop to end up like me. A secret twin brother? Sonny, I'm starting to feel like we're really in a detective novel. A cheap one. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, listen, Marty. What is it, Boss Bird? I think it's best if we go our separate ways. What? Are you joking? I know you have a weak sense of humor, but there's a limit to everything. Yeah. I'm not joking, Marty. Well, I certainly hope you are. Whatever comes next, you don't need to be mixed up in it. You have someone to go home to. Guys, damn it, Sonny. Can you hear yourself? What do you think? I endured all this to give up now? What do you take me for? No, pal. You're not getting rid of me so easily. <laughs> I just want you to keep your career and your life intact, you moron. Just accept it, shake my hand, and go home. Your wife, Laura, is waiting for you. One more word, Sonny, and I swear I'm gonna bash your beak in. I risked my life more than once tonight. You know why? No. Why? Because we're a team. We have been a team for almost a decade. Now, I don't care what Blood Boil says or whatever's on a goddamn piece of paper. We're the chicken police, Sonny. And we always will be. I'm sorry. You're right. We're gonna go to that insane asylum and wrap this shit up fast and clean. Yeah, just like you said, even if it kills us. Thanks, Marty. Without you, I'd most likely already be sleeping the big sleep. Birds of a feather flock together, right? <laughs> like you say, partner. Yeah. Uh, let's drop this before you start crying on me, okay? Yeah, <laughs> I hope not. You almost just did. Ah, cluck off, Marty. <laughs> That's the spirit, the Sonny I know and hate. Thanks for everything, pal. Truly. Don't mention it, Sonny. If it weren't for you, nobody would have tried to kill me with a Tommy gun or set fire to a ship with me in it. Yeah, how lucky you are, huh? Damn right. I got a feeling tomorrow's gonna be another tough day. You could use a good night's sleep. Huh, <sighs> you're telling me. I got a feeling, huh, <sighs> you're telling What do you think, Marty? What? You care what I think. You must have hit your head pretty bad. <laughs> Stop fooling around, Marty. I'm serious. So what do you think about everything? Well, I think we're in deep shit. But to be honest, Eben Wessler is in deeper shit. Do you think he really murdered his brother? But why? And what does it have to do with Natasha and the threats? Uh, it doesn't add up yet. Something's missing. Let's visit the institution and try to find out what we can about this Albert Wessler fella. Exactly. If he's the dead body, we've got to know what the motive was. If we can't, and if he's still alive, we gotta ask him directly. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Sonny? I think Ibn, Albert, and Natasha are the three key players in this case, and that all of it has something to do with the brothel. And the fact that Natasha used to be a... <clears throat> courtesan? Yeah, that too. Listen, Could Sonny, be. about Molly. Oh, just forget it, Marty, okay? 
She's not part of my life anymore. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Forget it. Let's concentrate on the case and on making it out alive and helping Natasha, too. Whatever you say, Boss Bird. So you think Natasha's really in danger? It could be, or she could even be behind everything. Yeah. No, you don't believe that. I'm not sure what I believe, Marty. <laughs> Let's see. Things got mixed up at the brothel. Okay. So let's investigate. Hmm. This has been like the whole thesis of everything. Probably got to do something with it, man. Right? about Natasha's uh, time as a prostitute. Natasha used to work there, that's obvious. And Ibn wanted to keep that a secret. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> this seems to also be connected to Ibn and his A secret, it seems. Somebody else had to pay for. Zip was the one that dealt with it. Somebody died for that secret. Zip hid the body, but he kept the wristband. Yeah. Which hmm. is all connected. Who could it belong to? Well, obviously it's probably Albert's. The dead body was almost certainly Albert Wessler, a resident of an insane asylum. But why did he have to die? Got some more information? One more place. Mental institution with a ridiculously long name and a ridiculously long history, according to the pictures. It looks just like the castle of the vampire bats in those cheap horror movies. So, what do you think is gonna happen to Zip? Who'd have thought? I believed that little rat. I thought he'd changed. Idiot. There's a point when it's too late to change, Marty. His past caught up with him. Whatever he did since then doesn't matter. Yeah. Not much. Exactly. And that's the case with us, too. That's why I won't back down. Even though a voice in my head is screaming right now, leave it all to hell and have another drink. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should. Oh, my. Gonna retreat out to the bedroom? No. Gonna go to a uh, mental institution. So where exactly is this place? A few hours drive from here, in the middle of nowhere. It's a creepy old mansion, of course. Of course. You think it's a good idea to go there? What if it's a trap? I told you, you can still go back. Huh, wouldn't you love that? No such luck, boss. If I get killed or locked up forever in an insane asylum, that's gonna be on you. Thanks, pal. <laughs> I deserve that. And this old wristband. So what do you thing. think happened to the corpse? Probably been eaten. Horrible to think about, but even if half of what they say about the hive is true, starvation, riots, arson, predation. You're telling me. Makes my feathers stand on end when I think about what goes on in there. And we pretend we don't know about it. As if Roachtown isn't even part of Clawville. This won't end well. I'm afraid soon, Clawville's gonna burn once again. And because of its own foolishness. Yep. Well, that's if another meat war doesn't break out first. Cause then, the whole wilderness will burn. Ooh. Lovely prospect, eh? Either yep. way, it was a damn clever move for Wessler to hide the body in Roachtown. That's the only place no one will ever find it. Like the belly of a burning ship. Oh, I think that was an intentional red herring. <laughs> Sounds about right. Got a bit more information here. Great meat war. Great meat 
Indeed War was the biggest and most bloody conflict in the history, of, uh, known history of the wilderness, raging from 862 to 849. In the beginning, it only affected Altera, the two-headed continent, but its later years spread to 12 colonial provinces, including all of Clawville's four colonies. During the Meat War, about 80 to 90 million animals died, and after the war, 27 species were declared extinct. I've had enough stimulation for today. <laughs> you know, I thought about it multiple times that you might be Meredith H. Marble. We've met her <laughs> on a number of occasions, Marty. Remember? Her real name is Susie. Maybe Susie's just an actress you hired. Yeah. You've read too much of that cheap garbage, Marty. There's no conspiracy theory. Susie's just a money-hungry little dame who made a fortune off of us. That's all. Yeah, you're disappointing. I know. <laughs> huh. Maybe I am really Meredith H. Marble. A stack of papers. Just looking at them makes me think of Monica. Yeah. When all of this is over, I'm gonna go on that long journey. Hopefully in a realistic way and not a metaphysical way. Well, let's ask about Natasha. You still trust her? I never trusted her, Marty. I mean, you believe her? I'm sure she was honestly afraid. People don't fake it that easy. But I can understand why she didn't tell us about her uh, former profession. Yeah. Or how she knows Molly. Yeah, that too. And the death of Deborah complicated things even more. Hey, Sonny, she... She didn't seduce you, right? I mean, Natasha. Ah, don't be stupid, Monty. My old ticker hasn't been beating for a long time. Not that way, anyway. Yeah, all right, boss. <laughs> Less he needs to know. Uh, well... Got that phone number off of the flyer there. Triple five. Nine. Six and six. Hello. You've called the Let There Be Peace Forever Mental Institution for Ill and Damaged Minds. What can I do for you, sir, or madam? Uh, well, I'd like to, uh, inquire about a patient who I believe is being, uh, uh treated at your institution. Uh, his name is Albert Wessler. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't give out that information if you don't have the password given to relatives. Do you have one? Unfortunately, I don't have that. I'm not a relative. I'm calling from the Clawville Police Department. In that case, officer, I'd advise you to visit our institution personally. Our director and I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, miss. I guess I'll do that. We'll welcome you with open arms, sir. Have yourself a beautiful starlit night. This is an interesting conversation. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, goodbye. See you soon. Uh, hmm. You know, we better make sure someone knows that we're leaving, so... to go there. Ah, the thought gives me goosebumps. Chicken bumps aren't good enough for you? <laughs> ha ha ha. So, I get the couch? It'd be better if I called Lewis. He'll open up a room for you to sleep in. Whew, great idea. <laughs> I got a feeling tomorrow's gonna be another tough day. You could use a good night's sleep. Uh, you're telling me. Yeah. I got a feed. Uh, he's... Okay. Now we do this. Okay. 
can't use the keyboard. Hey, Lewis, it's, uh, it's me again. Oh, hello, Sonny. What's up? Were you sleeping, pal? Me? Oh, I w w wasn't. Uh, anyway, I'm always at your service. Would you open up a room for Marty? Naturally, Sonny. Thanks, Lewis. I'm not even gonna say it. I, I will. You owe me one. Again. Yeah. <laughs> I got a feeling tomorrow's gonna be another tough day. You could use a good night's sleep. <sighs> You're telling me. And that's opened up. We're off the map. Chapter four, farewell, farewell. Last chapter. I slept like I used to sleep years ago. Like a miner or a soldier, empty. Dead tired. Then I saw Tessa, my darling little daughter. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't recall her face. I reached out to her, but she just kept getting further and further away. Then I saw Molly. But she wasn't real, just the ghost of a memory. I'm here, I cried. But all I heard was laughter. Not hers. Who's there? Suddenly, she appeared. Natasha. Just stood there laughing. But her eyes were cold. Then she said something. Painted red. Painted red. Painted red. Just a dream, Sonny. Nothing more. I looked at Marty and I saw the same thing in his eyes as he probably saw in mine. It's time to hit the brakes, to turn back, go home and forget about all of this. <laughs> of course, I stepped on the gas instead. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't expecting anything good, but this. Ooh, just like a horror movie. I was thinking the same. Appearances can be deceiving. Let's hope so. Achievement unlocked. Out of the past. Huh. This picture. It's very... Special. Mm. This. It's special. This. It's special. Hmm. Let's see here. That's um Ah, like an angel from heaven, isn't she? Yeah, half of her's still up there, I think. <laughs> That's rude. Ah, oh, boo hoo. If we say hi. Of all the great wild ones. Greetings, miss. Is it really you? Well, uh, yes. Yes, it really is you, the chicken police. I'm afraid so. Of all that's furry and plumy, that's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Uh, miss, we'd like to ask... <sighs> Please, don't be scared. I'm just really, really, really excited. You know, I've read every book about you and your adventures, and I even collected newspaper articles when I was a little girl. Indeed. You can't imagine what an honor it is to meet you in person. We really... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Take a deep breath, Miranda. Take a deep breath. Are you okay, miss? <laughs> Yes, I am. I just needed some air. So, dear detectives, Santino and Martin, 
What can I do for you? One second. And back. Sorry about that. Well, miss, uh, we have some questions, if you don't mind. I'd love to answer all of your questions, detectives. Achievement unlocked. Police squad. Yeah. And <sighs> so many new stuff. Let's see here. Miranda the nurse. Species giraffe. Giraffa. Gender female. Special. Full of life. Full of hope. Full of almost everything. And she's a big fan of us. Unfortunately. Hopefully nice nurse we met behind the desk of the asylum. Her name is Miranda. She's a embarrassingly huge fan of the chicken police. Ah, fangirls. Well, that's gonna be for next time. Let me come back, folks. Oh. Even if you manage to escape, there's nothing but hills and forests for a hundred miles. Imagine how many poor lunatic ghosts must haunt those woods. Ooh, Sonny, you're creeping me out. Yeah. Ah, see you next time, folks.